idea what it is. The following fatal four way contest is a no disqualification match. Holiday. Introducing first, Front Holiday. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are back on the air here, and we've got ourselves a cruiserweight contest. A sneak peek of what's to be expected for Super Card 8. And by the way, it's been sponsored by a very Harold and Kumar Christmas in 3D. In theaters, now playing. You better watch it, it's a pretty funny movie, man. I managed to have caught it not long ago. And from Orangeburg, South Carolina. From the hood. Of Orangeburg, South Carolina. You made a mistake there, Tony Chimmel. He's from the hood. He's gangster. He's from the projects. A very, very unpopular area of Orangeburg, Pennsylvania, or South Carolina, where the puppy comes from. But Benjamin will change all that when he wins the Cruiserweight Championship this Sunday at Super Card 8. And I'll put that, and I, and I can put my two dollars on that one. He will definitely get the cruiserweight title, unless this happens. Player Uno, the 8-bit luchador, may actually win for a two-time, two-time, two-time champion. Oh my goodness, that could possibly happen. The fan favorite from the Mushroom Kingdom into your own computer monitors on YouTube. Player Uno has entertained everybody virtually or even in real fucking life. And Uno looks pretty confident that he will win tonight as per this Sunday at Super Guard 8. Now let's give it to you. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing 210 pounds, Bubba Gall. It is Bubba Gall. Means, covered to him, man, like, do you see what I mean? Sick, sickish roots to you, that's what you said, sickish roots to you, there you go. That's the same thing. <clears throat> I'm being taught a lesson here, or I'm teaching French as I'm broadcasting. Ha! I'm doing double duty worth my pay, bitch. I just work here, I don't pay. I am just yanking your they your code chain. Your code chain on your on your jacket. It sounds like it sounds like souvenir day in English. It does, it does, eh? I know. So But it's souvenir so, so means to remember. So, so this Friday it's souvenir day. Yeah, that's, that's correct, man. And also ultimate wish day. Make a wish this Friday, ladies and gentlemen. It is going to be 11, 11, 11. We all know what that means. Uh, the next Oblivion game is going to be. I think I just said that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and in the ring already, Shelton Benjamin, as gangster as he is, using furniture, a folding steel chair to whack Danny Cans. Oh my goodness, that makes no laws. A physics sense at all. How is player who knows with one side of the ring used the folding chair to whack Danny Cans across the face? This is on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. You can always click back or press one, two, or three on your keyboard, whatever. You try and get this caption, you never know what's gonna happen. But Danny Cans got a crown by a player Uno and this sneak peek of what will happen to what will happen to that cruiserweight title this Sunday at Super Card 8. Wow, there's even a red ninja. The Red Ninja trained by Titanium because it was part of the new class season 2 that will be on sale in your retail stores in a couple of weeks from now. It's a pretty small season there uh, Captain Obvious. Hey, only six episodes, that's all we got. Hey, The Walking Dead was six episodes. And Family Guys Season 1 was, <laughs> was six episodes too. I'm not making this shit up! No, you're not. Look at the Red Ninja, it's going through the belly, the mushroom, 
to do is he must have instant healing power for the second wife. Yes, he does. I mean, Clarino is full of extra wives. He's got one of his own. <laughs> Northern Light Suplex? No, only a two count. That was very close. And if Red Ninja can do the exact same thing this sun this Sunday at Super Card 8, he will be the next Cruiserweight Champion of the World. And everyone's trying to get a whack at the Red Ninja. No one's getting anything. Bam! Uno gets the final say in that. But what I don't understand is that why would you want to use Trash cans and folding chairs, I mean, I know there's no disqualifications. That's not wrestling. That's just sick. Like you say it all the time, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Woo! It hasn't changed. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Not being able to see properly, the Red Ninja was in a trash can and got whacked by that crutch. That's missing a handle because it was broken at the hands of the 8-bit luchador and a blatant low blow by the <clears throat> rock star Danny Cans I'm gonna say rock band Danny Cans or the guitar hero Danny Cans he's got many nicknames Northern Light Suplex again two and no again a two count Shelton Benjamin Doing whatever he can to survive in this one fall to a historic finish. Shane Eaton McKay suffered a huge serious injury at the hands of Larry the Rabbit Laren. Last week on Tuesday Night Bomb and as a result, he was forced to be stripped of the Cruiserweight Championship. But he may wage war. Perhaps a bus within tears. I have no idea. The biggest pay-per-view of the year is still to come. And one of these four men will become the new champion. And Shane Eaton is definitely going to be on the hunt for the new crown champion. And why, Red Ninja, would you go and pin outside when you know specifically well it's not a hardcore false count anywhere match? He's still learning, Captain. I mean, he's... As a kid in that mask is a child. Is that why he's wearing a mask to cover his identity? Hmm? Perhaps the Red Ninja suit is just a costume like in Halloween. That makes perfect sense. Oh my goodness! What the hell was that? A momentum ship, but I don't I don't even know what the hell was that. I ah. I'm so lost, I'm so scared. Again, Laws of Pixels is like someone fly with the Red Ninja, he attacks, tries to attack Danny Cans, and then Sky suddenly gets involved. Shells crack. Oh no, Danny Kent's neck is bleeding as well. It's seeping through the shirt. Which, 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 which was washed with Mr. Clean and Iron. Keep that to keep that straight shirt in good condition each and every single time you see Danny Kent before him. Danny Kent is getting ready for the super snap mare. Look at that. Player Uno is on fire. And there is the stutter! Look at that out of nowhere! Go for the cover! Go for the win! That was your chance! Two! No! No! He got hoodwinked! Bamboozled! Robbed, if you will! Speaking of Rob, Robert English is also in action tonight. No word of Larry Laren and his, and his uh, presence here. Last time we checked, he was not in the gym. He's not in the training facility. Nowhere to be found. So I guess Robin will have his fun with Sweet Norman Brown and Jason Niaga. Two Negroes and an Englishman. Yes. 
Does it get more international than that? <laughs> you get a man from Brazil, a man who was born and raised in Africa, and from, <clears throat> I don't know which part of England, but he resides where he's built from Blackpool, England. Oh no, Red Ninja's bleeding. More red to the to the attire. Oh my goodness. One, two, three. And it is all over. Danny Kens is the last, literally the last person standing. Look at that nasty gash across the head. Medic! Medic, get your ass down here and sew that boy's face up! That very attractive man, which girls ogle. Very great addition there, Scott Towles. Add that note to the bank. Danny Cairns wins the sneak peek. Will he win the real thing this Sunday and become the next Cruiserweight Champion? I think so. I think my money is now on Cairns rather than Shelton Benjamin. We'll be right back, folks. Rob English in action.